Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Worship Splits with Terry. Today I've got a really old one for you, <laughs> from the archives. This uh, was a game that we've played, oh gosh, that was ages ago. Uh, we, we are, as you can see, in uh, a tier 5 division between myself in the Hill, Andy in the Königsberg and Stu in the Julio Cesare. Um, not not taking any overpowered ships into mid-tier battles at all, are we? <laughs> but um, we are um, again. We're up against a. Uh, we're up against the division on the other side with uh, Nokjabuskaya as uh, and Zebra, uh, Hartman in the Kamikaze and Ergo in the in the Meme Okotnik. So <laughs> it's definitely um, yeah. <laughs> Seal clubbers meet seal clubbers, I would say. Now this battle isn't about me, but uh, what, let's let's get started. The bottom tier battle, by the way, a double New Mexico on the enemy team. Um, this battle isn't about me. Um, this battle is about Andy demonstrating why the Königsberg is one of the best mid-tier ships that you can possibly possibly sail in, especially if the enemy team lets you get away with things. So um, Andy here spawning around uh, Sea Cup. And we'll obviously well, try try to get there. The very first thing you want to do in the Königsberg is switch over to the armor piercing because the high explosive is garbage. Why would you ever want to use it? Um, send a compliment to Ergo <laughs> for sailing out in an Okotnik. <laughs> the Okotnik's been power crept a bit because the Okotnik used to work really well because, uh, well, it's a tier 5 ship and people really had no idea what they were doing in tier 5. It's not so much the case anymore today. So. Um, like that sort of skill, uh, like the skill increase in mid-tier has sort of made the Okotnik a lot harder to play than it used to be. But uh, all right, anyway, he's uh, he's got a battleship to back him up, uh, the Julio Ce um, the Julio Cesare, not the Hu why am I keep mispronouncing that? The Julio Cesare, um, and he's got an Anchan with him as well, which is um, which is just a Gnevni in disguise. So um, yeah, Ergo is not going to have a good time. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> So first of all, um, he is he's running into some torpedoes and more torpedoes and yeah, the uh, the uh, Gnevni is uh, um, uh, the the Okotnik is is not um, is not <laughs> is not a ship that you want to rush in anymore with these sort of things and he's very dead now. <laughs> so the Chaser takes him out, uh, which secures Sea Cup and uh, gets our team. One ahead, especially if you're faced up against the Königsberg, uh, this is rather suicidal. I mean, if you're alone and you can rush him, yes. Now, uh, New Mexico, next, next customer. Top tier battleship, very dangerous. Königsberg being um, an extremely lightly armored cruiser, but uh, the German 150mm armor piercing is very good, especially if you're donking, if you're able to donk it into the superstructure or into the bow section of the New Mexico. Well, and the other thing is that um, the Königsberg really is a destroyer. <laughs> That's got lots of guns and it's very big. So now we're spread out. Uh, New Mexico's in the turn. Torpedo's up against him. He's a slow battleship. Uh, he doesn't look like he's doing a full turn. And then just keep hammering him into the into the bow section while also keeping an eye on the rest of the things there. And that's uh, New Mexico that just took all the torpedoes. So now it's just a matter of sailing on the side where he doesn't point his main guns because <laughs> uh, he, he's completely focused in on the chaser and... Um, uh, finish him up with style. Now there's another New Mexico, but the Königsberg's got more torpedoes and he's firing his secondaries and that's a very dangerous move, but the New Mexico decides that he doesn't want to kill that cruiser, he just wants to, and he doesn't run into those kamikaze torps, which were well I aimed really. Um, and if he hadn't been turning, would have been really bad for him, but he, he did turn and uh, because the New Mexico decided that it wasn't worth deleting him, he gets to do that to the New Mexico. And there's the enemy Königsberg and he's also not paying any attention, so... <laughs> Yeah, this is what I mean by very, very light cruiser. So now he gets to shred this guy too. Um, meanwhile, um, I, am, I am in a, I, I am trying desperately to do something about that Octavuskaya. Oh, there's a Furutaka. Oh, Furutaka's got torpedoes, so good. Ah, the Furutaka's paying attention either. <laughs> so um, just some torpedoes and then we'll just, uh, cool cool players don't look at dead ships. So that's the, um, the, the Fur, uh, Furutaka's dead, enemy Königsberg's dead. <laughs> And that just leaves uh, that just leaves part of uh, oh no they uh, the New Mexico actually did something, and the Chaser is down. But um, 
uh, he succumbed to torpe uh, two torpedoes from the from the Anshan, so um, it's all good. Which just leaves that uh, troublesome division. Have they killed me yet? Uh, no, they haven't killed me yet, but I haven't also really gotten anything do anything done. So uh, Andy being useful by uh, taking the Kamikaze under fire um, and cupping B. And um, given that it, uh, it's quite difficult to hit the Kamikaze from here, probably just start shooting at the Octavius carrier in the meantime. The only dis uh, uh, the only uh, disadvantage the Königsberg obviously has is that the um, is that the turrets in the rear. But unlike the Nuremberg, the tur uh, I think the Königsberg has 360 uh, rotating rotating turrets, so she's a l she can be a lot more dangerous in that regard. Now this is a this is a, a dangerous moment because if the Kamikaze has torpedoes ready, uh, he has nowhere to turn. But um, well, if he had, he's now shot them off. <laughs> and I would say that's a very dead kamikaze, so um, kaboom. And that just leaves the <laughs> that just leaves the October Sky, which I think just took me out. I really didn't get anything done against that guy. Uh, it's unfortunate when people know how to dodge torpedoes, really. <laughs> But uh, the Octavius Carrier is not a particularly well-armored battleship. She does have a lot of guns, though. Uh, but yeah, it's the last player alive, so um, uh, just see if he can uh, steal one more kill here, or if someone else is going to grab it. Uh, shots out, but uh, the New Mexico takes him out. Uh, still, Andy, very well done in demonstrating how devastating a Königsberg can be, especially if the enemy team is not paying any attention to you whatsoever. <laughs> Except for that one torpedo salvo from the Kamikaze that was pretty well aimed, but that you also pretty well dodged. So yeah, much deserved, and as I said, I didn't get anything done. So <laughs> that's it for today. Thanks everybody, a bit of nostalgia for you, and uh, from the good old days, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.